Hey everyone, welcome back to the best U.S. Men News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is July 14, 2024. And in this video, we're talking about the American Innovation Dollar coming out this coming Thursday. That's been really cool. Can't wait to see this one. Uh, it's probably my second favorite one of the year, right after the Rocket uh, coin. So that's pretty amazing. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. And we're always live and never edited. Now, let's bump over here to MoneyMetals.com. Bam. Gold end of the week at 24, 21, 30, silver at 30, 97. And where do you think silver is going from here? Well, we know what the United States Mint thinks, right? Yowza. And if it gets even more expensive than that, I mean, at what, at what point, price point, is silver per ounce going to, well, make the mint raise prices even further, right? So if we get to $35 an ounce, $36 an ounce, does an American silver eagle now cost $105, $110? Yeah, right. So we could be hitting that point. If silver does uh, go up another five to ten dollars, the mint's going to be like, well, we have to raise prices again. And would they even announce it? Right. So that's another question we need to think about. Now, platinum ended the week at 10, 1580, palladium at 1385. Lots of parity going on here between platinum and palladium. And I got a question for you. So one, one, well, I guess when these do reach its, um, a point where they go parabolic, which one goes higher than the other? Is it going to be palladium over platinum or vice versa, platinum over palladium in value? It's really interesting because, you know, right now you can't really tell the difference. But historically, I think you would know. All right, you're looking at an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is $779. You're going to get out of there for a total of $38.76 each for a quantity of 1 through 39. And they will buy those back for $32.47 each. Now over here to the bullion sales at the United States Mint. No new tail to tail. Numbers are really light this month already. We're on the 14th. I know we did have a holiday on July 4th. But really, um, there's no reason why we can't have at least half the month's numbers already out here. And I would suspect this week at some point, the United States Mint will update these numbers. So looking forward to that. Now, next up is the United States Mint product schedule. Now, did you pick up the Morgan dollar or the Peace dollar over the uh, la like course of last week, about three days ago? You know, I was over at the fun show yesterday where I uh, submitted some coins to PCGS. I was actually the very last person in line uh to, got, got cut off everybody after me had got turned away by the person uh controlling the line so i really got lucky there i submitted uh nine coins so i'll, t I'll keep up i guess i'll keep you posted keep you abreast of what happens with those particular grades and i'll tell you i've probably spent six years looking for those uh minimum for these coins hopefully they're in really high super grade so enough of that now let's talk about what's going on here this is the july 18th release the product is the American Innovation Dollar, and it features the state of Missouri, and really an innovator right there. That's George Washington Carver, and uh, there it is, bam. So what we're really looking at here is the prices right now, and that's the 25-coin roll from Philadelphia and Denver. still 3450 and that's the same price that it was way back when, what, 2018, okay, when these, was, well, was the first year, the inaugural year. Same with the $100 uh, coin, 100 coin bag for 11750 So that's kind of amazing. And what's interesting here is that the mintages are fairly low for these particular coins. And well, I would say they're probably one of the coins that's under a million that the United States Mint uh, produces. And that's really gone on, well, I guess I want to say uh, looked over, so to speak, for quite some time. I think only now are the American Innovation Coins finally getting the love and um, attention that they do deserve. So um, the first product you're looking at is 8400 That's the Philadelphia roll. The next product, and this has been pretty consistent for the whole year so far, is Denver is minting less for the bags and rolls of the American Innovation. So you look at that 30, um, th uh, 7350 my list Zexia kicked in for a second and then 24 gbd and 24 gbh clearly something going on there 3150 and then 2950 and then a household order limit of 10 for which one is that i think it's for all of them on the very first day uh there we go yeah order limit of 10 right there and that's what the denver roll looks like and there's george washington carver and there's the state of missouri right there and you got his name not much else going on there and there's the obverse of this coin and it does feature a privy mark and that privy mark changes every year not sure what the privy mark for 2020 um five looks like but i can't wait to see the american innovation dollars for 2026 i hope the united states mint and the cac cacc and the cfa as well as well they get their act together and make it amazing look at all that dead space in there these are really hard to get in a high grade and that's phoebe hemphill's uh design right there that's the one dollar and there she is statue of liberty 
There it is. And that is amazing. So here we are, 3450. It says here, George Washington Carter was born into slavery in Diamond, Missouri. He went on to become the agricultural scientist who helped save the South's agrarian economy. Following the abolition of slavery, many formerly enslaved people became small-scale farmers but struggled to thrive on nutrient-depleted land due to single-crop overuse. Now, I'll tell you what. Um, I can tell you about him here, but I, I, yeah, I got to share this with you. I was watching this really great stuff and i will leave a link in the description i was really enjoying this video this morning i got about 25 minutes in and i was like gosh i better go make a video so that's how really good it was uh, it's a full show and you know what he's really and it says right here in the show that he was lucky to survive childhood i mean right in the first few minutes you're like dang this dude man so yeah a very remarkable individual and i think um if once you watch this you'll realize um that you'll be proud to call him and yourself an american uh, and uh, it's it's remarkable. It really is. Um, now, what's the? Uh, we talked about the description here. Uh, here, uh, the specifications. Yeah, it's basically. Um, you know, a lot of people think because of the color, it's mostly manganese. It's not actually. Uh, it's a one dollar coin. Six percent zinc. Okay, so we know the Lincoln set is mostly zinc and scent. Three and a half percent manganese, two percent nickel, and the remaining is copper. Look at that, six, that's nine and a half. You got eleven and a half, and then the remaining is copper, and it's gone now. And there's the specs, it's 8.1 grams. The diameter is one inches round, just about. We've got the lettered edge, okay? And if you know anything about the lettered edges, you know if it points, if, if you can read it and it's not upside down, and you have the obverse facing up, that's position A. Now, if the um, if it's this position here, all right, and you can actually see the E pluribus unum here, right there, well, that would mean that this is a position B if you can read it while you're looking at the reverse. All right, so there you go. And it's got the mint mark of the Denver on the edge, and it's gone again. And the stylized gear, I can't control my clicking finger. All right, so that was pretty interesting. And I hope you dig them as much as I do. I know, um, like I said, right after this, we have the July 30th release of the American Innovation uh, Coins, and that's in the proof set. And I would also imagine that if you didn't pick up that uh, Rocket Coin already, well, just maybe, you know, because some, some designs for coins are made to be uh well in a proof finish or reverse proof finish it's just that's the way it turns out and just maybe that rocket coin might be amazing or even more amazing in a reverse proof finish uh, i think one example of that uh, a recent example would be the uh dr polly uh murray quarter that looks phenomenal in a proof uh finish it really does that hope really really pops so hopefully these will pop as well uh, especially that rocket coin. That's amazing. Alabama. Hmm. So let's go to those plus ones. I don't want to yammer way too much today. I think I showed you this. No, I didn't. All right. This is the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center. And if you didn't know, I mean, he was much more than what the U.S. Mint or most historians uh, would say. Look, at he was a he was a kind of a, a really good painter. Look at that. And he would paint on any medium he would find. And he would and he learned uh, how to make so many different colors out of just clay. Um, it's just remarkable, the talented uh, person that he really is. And like I said, uh, we should all be proud to call him an American. Uh, his perseverance, his um, just his way, uh, just everything that he encountered that some of us might consider as, you know, stop us in our tracks. Well, he just went, well, I'll just try something different. And then he... <laughs> I mean, it's just, you got to watch this movie. It's really great, great stuff. Anyway, let me go to those plus ones. Fantastic stuff right there. All right, this is Proverbs 25, 8. It says here, go not forth hastily to fight or argue, lest thou know not what to do in the end, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Yeah, and I told you this before. I think this is important. And I think what that means is don't become involved in an argument unless you have thought through how it may end. And you got to ask yourself, what are outcomes are acceptable from that when you thought it through? Yeah, that's pretty heavy duty, right? You ever hear that escalated quickly? Well, maybe because those persons didn't think it through at all. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Now let's go over here to 99.9 .9 KOIN, Coin News Radio. This is Foreigner. Urgent. And you know what urgent, you know what they're talking about? Yeah, love. So it's urgent that we have love. Isn't that something? That's special right there, folks. That's amazing right there. Love. It's a four-letter word. It's one of the nicer four-letter words out there, right? 
So there it is. I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel. It's absolutely free. Stack around.